I think ever since we designed the 800 series um, back in, I think it was the late 90s, we were always quite fascinated, I was always quite fascinated by how you could create uh, more, more shape and form from a cabinet. And we know that from the, the head of the 800 that the tweeter performs very, very well in a domed spherical surface. So uh, when we had the uh, opportunity to, to design a very, very compact, high-performance uh, loudspeaker, um, we wanted to really leverage all of that learning from, from all those years gone by from the 800 head and see whether we could build a very, very compact speaker that benefited from, from some of those acoustic um, features and uh, I, think, uh, I think we managed to achieve it on, on the PM1. Well the sound comes first, um, as I explained really we, we let the improvements um, in, the, in the shape, we know, we know the shape and the form influence how a loudspeaker performs so I think that's first and foremost. Uh, and then the, the real art, in a way, is to hopefully make that work aesthetically. So I think a lot of effort has, has gone into this design to be quite um, harmonious uh, in, in, a, in a domestic uh, you know, living environment, but at the same time still have great high performance. So um, uh, I think it's always uh, something always intellectually intriguing about designing a loudspeaker is the fact that you have to make that balance. Um, between not just complete freedom to design something that's beautiful, but also to ensure that it actually is going to sound great. Um, I think some of the, the challenges um, were uh, largely based around this, this component here, which is um, a dough molded, an unusual kind of process used uh, for loudspeakers, it's an incredibly dense material that's then uh, bonded to these uh, plywood um, sides and this is not any ordinary plywood it's been specially made for Bowers and Wilkins using um, certain veneers and cross plied at certain certain um, angles. Um, the, uh, the construction essentially is being driven by again you know, the need to, to produce something that has great sound and we've got I think six dissimilar materials we've got um, aluminium die casting, dough mouldings, MDF and plywood that all have different resonant frequencies and when you build a loudspeaker from many dissimilar materials it can have quite a lot of acoustic benefits into into the way that the cabinet uh, resonates and performs um, and uh, the, I'm told the engineers at Bowers and Wilkins at Stenning are um, um, really quite um, blown away by how, how well this little loudspeaker performs. Uh, very, very closely. It's a very long-standing relationship. goes back many years. The most important aspect is that, that we're all trying to aim for the same thing, which is to make you know, an exquisitely uh, well-manufactured, beautifully sounding loudspeaker and that, that's worthy of the Bowser Wilkins brand. I think you'll find that we've, you know, we've produced over the years some of the most successful range of loudspeakers, I think, um, in the world.